G'day, Jacob from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. Now, most of you guys have worked out that I'm a science teacher, right? Well, at my school, we've got this house system. Every kid and every teacher is part of a, a house. There's four houses, and there's the, the houses are named after islands in Tonga, which is a country in the South Pacific. And we've got the Eora Eagles, the Hapai Hurricanes, the Talawa Warriors, and the Vavau Breakers. Now, I'm the house patron of the Vow Breakers. Wow, wow, go the Vow. I like, you know, I like to do stuff to rev the team up a bit. So this, this week we've got an athletics carnival. So I've got this old mechanical wheelchair, motorised wheelchair. And I'm going to put a board that comes out the front. And on that board, which has got a wheel on it, I'm going to put a surfboard. Ooh. I'm going to put a surfboard. And I'm going to be able to stand on the surfboard and like drive myself around. So that would be cool. But then I might have like waves on the side of the, the wheelchair and I might have the waves moving and might have like a dolphin jumping up and down and maybe some water pistols and maybe some music, -na 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 you know, that sort of stuff. And uh, it's going to be awesome. So hang with me as I build this contraption and then we'll give it a go. First I'm going to fix this on properly so that it can't come off. Okay. Okay, now that I've attached the board, I'm going to attach a swivelly wheel out the front to take the load of the person standing on the surfboard. Okay, now to attach the wiggly wheels so that it can move around easily. Okay, got the board on the ground with the wheels. Now I'm going to put the surfboard on it, like this. And then, got the controls. <laughs> now I've got the surfboard, now I'll start decking it out with waves and that sort of stuff. Got some waves on the side to hide the lower part of the wheelchair. Okay. Second wave done, I'll go somewhere like that. And then I'm going to get a wave on the ins I'm going to get a wave on the inside and I want it to go backwards and forwards. So I've got like this motor, I've got this motor that goes around and around with an arm and we'll go and the wave will go. Hey? How good will that be? Something like that. Give it a go. Okay, put the battery on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's spray these waves up and make them look good. Hey, I'm an artist as well. Okay, now it's time to get the dolphin to go up and down. So I've got a bit of a, a wire frame here that the, the back of the dolphin will sit on. See how it's nice and flexible. So as the vehicle moves, sort of bounce up and down a bit like that, and then if I have maybe an arm that goes up and down, up and down like that, maybe I can get it to, you know, swim a bit. That'll look good. Woo. Swimmy dolphin. I don't even think I need a motor on it. 
because as the car moves along, it's going to like wiggle up and down a bit. It's going to move by itself. See that? Yoo-hoo! <laughs> wow, wow, go for Val! First is the Vival Breakers. Vival Breakers! Your well Breakers, you are currently first. Yes, go Breakers! They are about 40 yes. points ahead, so we need about 40 Hurricanes to get into races quickly. 40 points ahead! Thanks for joining me today. The mascot machine's going pretty good. Hope you've had fun watching him build it. And it's a bit dangerous using it here. And it's been a little bit glitchy, the old remote control section of it. Anyway, like most things I make, I spend 12 hours making it and two minutes breaking it. That's life. All right, I'll see you guys later. See you guys next episode. If you're stuck at a field event, come over quickly and do the 400 soon and then you can go back to your field event. Okay, cheerio.